Thank you, President Rondeau, for allowing me to speak to the winter quarter class of 2020. To the students, congratulations for earning your degrees in the fields of electrical engineering, arts, science, and business administration. And just a note here, just you and I are on common ground there because when I went to Tulane for my undergraduate degree, I joined the electrical engineering program also. But the difference between you and me is I lasted six months before it was pretty clear I was not going to be an electrical engineer, so congratulations to those who stuck it out. To the families, thank you for your support. And I know you wish you could sit alongside your graduate in King Hall, watching them walk across the stage, but this day is no less special. Your support and encouragement to your graduate is still important. For the staff and professors who work so hard to modify their lessons, thank you for your steadfast devotion to this institution and to these students. You allowed learning to continue uninterrupted with the same high academic rigor expected at Naval Postgraduate School. To the graduates, each of you set a goal over the last few years, worked hard in the classroom, and then adapted to an all-virtual classroom to finish your degrees. The lessons you learned as you adjusted to the changing environment are important to remember as you transition back to the fleet, your brigade, your squadron, or your work center. Through your studies here at Naval Postgraduate School, you received the critical thinking tools necessary to leverage the power of information. In the future, the Joint Force can no longer expect to win on technical capabilities alone. Your ability to rapidly process information will seize the initiative against a peer adversary. The future fight will be fluid with an ever-changing environment. It will demand that sailors, soldiers, airmen, and Marines, and our civilian workforce have the intellectual rigor necessary to make sense of the environment, decide, and act. The military profession is a thinking profession. Intellectual capability becomes more important as the joint services turn to meet the demands of a future operating environment characterized by peer-level competition and conflict. And although the environment and equipment will change, what must remain constant is our ability to understand, decide, and act faster and more effectively than our competitors. During your studies, you analyzed a problem, made sense to the information, and responded effectively in the form of your thesis. We need leaders like you who can think through multiple layers of the problem, then quickly provide key operational solutions. The fleet needs people who can accurately recognize cues, quickly make sense of information, and respond effectively. This is what will provide our allies and us an advantage when we do not have the technological or capability edge. Because in the end, it will not be technology that wins the next conflict. The winning force will be the one who has the faster, more effective decision-making process and can outthink and operate with technology in new ways. It will be the force with the intellectual edge. Because of tomorrow's uncertainty, we must continue to prepare to adapt to the unexpected through education. I ask that you take all that you learned from your studies at NPS, and not just the material in your textbook, but the means of thinking through complex problems and turn it into a warfighting advantage for our joint services. In closing, be sure to pause today and reflect on what enabled you to succeed and adapt to the changing environment. Take your ideas and knowledge back with determination and urgency, for this is what will give us our edge over our adversaries. To the students, before you leave, remember to thank your families and your faculty. Additionally, I hope you're able to celebrate safely with friends and family. Again, congratulations to all the graduates. Thanks, and Semper Fidelis. My name is Lieutenant Christopher Heavey. I'm an engineering duty officer in the United States Navy. I'll be graduating from the systems engineering program here at the Naval Postgraduate School. My name is Davis Katakura. I'm an ensign in the U.S. Navy. I was in the Graduate School of Defense Management, uh, getting an MBA in material logistics support. 
My name is Sergeant Roche Petgrave and I am currently in the Regional Security Studies program, Certificate Program 247, where we're studying Far East, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific. Hi, my name is Major William Edward Hildebrand IV. I'm in Security Studies, Far East Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific. My name is First Lieutenant Jonathan Carnes, United States Air Force. I am part of the Acquisitions and Contracting Career Field uh, curriculum uh, with the Graduate School of Defense Management for my MBA. So some key operational aspects of my uh, capstone project was the uh, recent National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2020. Um, it came out that all acquisition workforce career fields had to base their new certification requirements on um, third-party accredited programs. And so I looked at that as an opportunity to see exactly how far away our current program management training standards are from industry standards. My research project was on vertical lift assets used for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. Every time that there is a disaster and the U.S. Navy designates uh, certain ships to be redirected to go help in the effort, um, a lot of the times the Navy will just try to do as much as they can as fast as possible. and. Um, there hasn't really been a way of thinking about it really methodically and how efficiently we can do it. For capstone research what we did is we took a, uh, an autonomous underwater vehicle that was developed here for a thesis, um, a very fundamental level, uh, initial rudimentary prototype. And what we did was we took that hull, uh, it was a spheroidal hull uh, with four tunnel thrusters for omnidirectional thrust. Um, and what we did was we really we took the, the shell of what that was and then integrated all of the necessary components to actually make it function and work. It was originally designed for uh, interior exploration of underwater wrecks, but we kind of readapted that, a new operational concept, and we actually employed it, um, integrating four GoPro cameras and would be used for rapid at sea battle damage assessment. The big ticket item for our region is like the re-emergence of great power competition. So you have like an emerging China with a competing United States and we are learning how to navigate that as best as we can academically and then as far as how to leverage that in the real world when we get out there. Um, so the biggest operational problem for us is basically framing uh, one of the biggest policy problems for the United States government in Asia. Like how are we going to compete with a China that we can't ignore anymore. One of the key takeaways from the program is the importance of history and culture to um, studying economics and, and policy. It was very um, challenging, um, to say the least, but I, I am one that now is walking away with a lot of information. The biggest um, learning points from NPS and how it's going to impact my career would be just learning how to ask the right questions, learning how to do research. The change that I've really seen in myself as an officer is not so much answering the questions correctly, but focusing on what are the right questions to ask. I think it's really matured me as a critical thinker coming here to NPS um, and just allowing me to dig deep and really like understand a situation and ask the right questions before I even try to answer them. I would definitely say that NPS has um, forced me to dive a little deeper. I remember the first time the professor told me we had a 15 page paper due. I sat there and I looked at the syllabus and I wondered to myself, I don't think I have, I have what it takes to write. I don't think I have enough vocabulary words to fill 15 pages, but I did. Um, with, you know, listening to the lectures, with reading all the assignments and speaking with the professors and speaking with the classmates, even though it was via Zoom, um, I found it. I found, I tapped into some more of my potential that I didn't even know was there. I'd say the overall value of being here at NPS would be the people aspect. I have resources I can come to at any point in my career that I'll feel comfortable coming to just with an email, a phone call, and asking them for help um, because they are the subject matter experts. The people you're working with here uh, in your thesis, in your capstone, are going to be the same people you're working with um, when you're out in the fleet uh, doing maintenance, doing repairs, new construction acquisitions. Um, so just networking with the people you have here um, those are the people you're going to see throughout the rest of your career. So having their contacts, having professors' contacts. I really think that the professors here are really what, what did it for me. I mean, just top-notch. For me, 
I've been able to tailor my entire curriculum specifically to maximize utility when I go to my next assignment, which I think is amazing. And that's prepared me better than any other program I could possibly imagine for. And the education itself really has been invaluable. You can't even put a price on this. One word, it's invaluable. Um, and I would also like to not fail to mention the importance of family and a support system to every student that is here. Personally, under the COVID environment, I have a greater appreciation for what my wife does at home with the two children, and I'm learning, we all learn, frankly, you know, how to balance home life as well as study life at the exact same time. The people who have dependents at home and family, that's a lot of life is um, coming into their work. A lot of the times when I was in class, I, I remember seeing some of the students, their kids would pop into the little Zoom boxes on my screen and it was delightful to see their smiling faces. My cohort had to adjust uh, with COVID, a lot of them living uh, with families at home and adjusting schedules with that. And my classmates were very, very supportive of each other and were willing to meet and share documents and keep track of work. The knowledge that I've been able to gain here at the program is directly translatable to my future job as an air attaché in Taiwan as far as Chinese history, U.S. policy, uh, the cyber element, the security element, the political econ element that I can all carry forward. And every single one of those is relevant to my future job. A lot of the professors here have first-hand experience in either where you came from or where you're going. They really have it in their hearts to help us as much as they can before we go into our new careers. You don't get that anywhere else. Um, I've gone to civilian institutions and working on a master's at a different institution and it doesn't really apply to what I'm doing, but this, at, at, this education at NPS is really applicable. The Marine Corps is looking for thinkers. The Marine Corps is looking for innovators. And what best way to encourage these innovators and thinkers than to educate them? To our fall graduates, congratulations. Happy holidays and welcome to what has become a graduation tradition in 2020. As we celebrate the completion of your NPS programs and the awarding of your degree virtually. Like your peers, you have risen above far reaching challenges to achieve this tremendous accomplishment. By now, online collaborative studies have become second nature to you as you have completed so much of your coursework from impromptu home study rooms of all shapes and sizes. We thank you for your flexibility, your perseverance, and your commitment to excellence in all that you do as officers and as professionals. But please remember this one absolute truth. Your graduation from this university represents a critical investment in you and in our armed forces. Your abilities and the research and scholarship you've contributed represent our future advantage in this era of great power competition. Our investment in you is in good hands. Congratulations. Fall quarter graduates, we have all had a shared, unprecedented experience in 2020. Every aspect of our lives has been challenged, and yet we still proudly stand here today to celebrate completion of your academic studies amidst those challenges. You have endured these changes and challenges not only here on campus, but in your homes, with your own families as well. While we have missed the opportunity to celebrate those achievements with our traditional commencement ceremony, in no way does that diminish the significance of your accomplishments as graduates of this university. The academic rigor of NPS rivals that of any university, and it has developed you into the critical thinkers thought leaders, and the innovators our nation needs to keep it secure. The impact of events of this year, while significant, cannot change the value and worth of the education and experience that you have received and accomplished. Take pride in your exemplary achievements and in your status as NPS alumni, and now use your education and your abilities to solve problems, create solutions, and most of all, lead the fight. Congratulations. Graduates, what a great moment today. Extraordinary circumstances have required all of us to change so much this year. You have adapted, you have persevered, you have performed, 
in an outstanding manner amidst all of the challenges, completing your research, your theses, your projects, your capstones that will lead to key warfighting solutions for our nation. This holiday season represents for you a time of accomplishment, a time of change as you return to the fleet and the force and it is hopefully a time of reflection on your experiences here at Naval Postgraduate School and what it means for you moving forward. One thing that has not changed is that the Naval Postgraduate School is a university like no other, where our one-of-a-kind mission to advance the national security of the United States and of our partners and of our allies drives everything we do. You executed the mission despite personal hardships and challenges. Another thing that has not changed, even though these extraordinary times and circumstances certainly are different, is how we are all to recognize you, this opportunity to recognize you and what you have done and what you have achieved here at NPS. Like all who have come before you, the accomplishments that we celebrate today have empowered you to become committed innovators, adaptive thought leaders, and professional warfighters even more than you have in the past. More value to your service and your nation than ever before. We can all be assured that the future will continue to bring uncertainty to our uncertain world, it always has. We all will be challenged again by forces well outside our nation's control, but take solace and confidence and comfort in all that we do in that we have you as future leaders in place to champion the next challenge that lies before us. Take pride in completing your studies here at the Naval Postgraduate School. Indeed, this is an opportunity that you have deserved. It is an opportunity to which you are now obligated to lean forward and to lead well. With all of these things in mind and with enormous pride, as president of the Naval Postgraduate School, I confer upon you, fall graduates, the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Business Administration with all the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and congratulations. Good morning, graduates. As the Acting Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, I want to congratulate you on your well-earned graduation from the Naval Postgraduate School. Today's event represents the culmination of years of hard work and dedication, including countless hours spent reading class materials, performing rigorous research and analysis, engaging in lively debates, and polishing your thesis. I offer congratulations not only to each of you, but to also to your friends, your family, and loved ones and colleagues who supported you throughout your academic journey. You chose to make a personal sacrifice to educate yourself to become better, more effective and more knowledgeable military leaders. The education you received at NPS not only improves you all as individuals, but it also allows you to use your knowledge on behalf of the national defense and the American people. The Department of Homeland Security specifically relies on NPS to produce the next generation of Homeland Security professionals and leaders, particularly through the Center for Homeland Defense and Security. Investing in our leaders of tomorrow, whether at DHS or in our military, is an investment worth making. With the tools, the knowledge, and skills you've gained here at NPS, I have no doubt that that investment will pay off for years to come. Again, congratulations to each of you, and I look forward to your continued future success. Okay, hey, good afternoon, uh, NPS. Lieutenant General Lou Kraprata from Training and Education Command. Just want to say uh, congratulations on a significant accomplishment with your uh, graduation. Really a milestone in your career, and I would offer a milestone in your uh, lifetime, although there'll be many more achievements, I'm sure, uh, to follow. This is really something that uh, we need in our core. We need thinking and learning, leadership, 
in order to lead this Marine Corps into the future. And the coursework that you have done there at uh, NPS is going to allow you to make critical contributions in the future, no matter where you're assigned. Uh, make no mistake, for all the students there at the NPS, you represent a significant strategic institutional investment. And uh, there's a lot of talent that we put out there at NPS, and typically we do pretty well with return on investment. So thanks to all of you. Uh, thanks to your families for your service, for your commitment, and for the sacrifice that I know that goes along with that uh, service. And I hope all of you and your families can enjoy a healthy and happy holiday season. Semper Fi. On behalf of the Navy's information warfare community, please accept my most sincere congratulations on your graduation from the Naval Postgraduate School. As a fellow graduate, I truly appreciate the magnitude of your accomplishment, especially given the unique challenges you faced this year. Each of you should be justifiably proud. In the current information-based era of great power competition, our joint force must compete deter, and if called upon, win in an increasingly more complex battle space than in the past. As such, it shouldn't be surprising that this competition is evolving from a kinetic dominated focus to a much more cognitive operating space and requires a different kind of fighting force. It's a time where strategic edge and tactical advantage is not sheer firepower alone. Our team's warfighting advantage is now naval professionals like you, tested, honed, and proven through graduate education that I believe only this institution can deliver. From experience, I can truly say that your time at NPS will serve you for a lifetime as you leave as changed thought leaders in your respective field of expertise. You will think, decide, and act differently than when you arrived, whether you realize it or not. You may forget some of the math. OK, you'll forget a lot of it. You may forget some of the technical aspects of your education while you go on in your future assignments. But I promise you that you will never lose the enhanced problem solving and analytical skills or the increased ability to think strategically and holistically that your Naval Postgraduate School education has delivered. So my challenge to you today is to leverage your own personal transformation and be the cognitive leader our Navy and Joint Force demands. And while we celebrate your graduation today, as you head into your next assignment, you must keep learning. You need to keep asking the what-if questions. You need to challenge the status quo. And you need to continue to leverage the network that you built among students and faculty while at Naval Postgraduate School. I wish each of you the best as you head back to the operational force. I only ask one thing of you, bring it. I look forward to serving with you as a member of the joint team. And again, congratulations. Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Hecker commander and president of Air University. I want to thank you for all the hard work it took to get to this point. Being an NPS graduate is no easy feat, and I congratulate you on being a graduate. You should be proud of yourselves. Over the coming years, we need your leadership in implementing the National Defense Strategy. Your ability to work across forces and your valuable insights gained through education, experience, and expertise. I look forward to your positive impact that you'll be able to bring back to your unit. Again, congratulations and safe travels. Hi, I'm Rear Admiral Jay Bynum, Acting Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfighting Development. But you're not likely to remember who I am or what I say today. So I'm going to ask you to remember just one thing. So hold up your index finger right now. That's right, you are number one. Congratulations for receiving your degrees and completing your course of study at Navy Postgraduate School. Every time you hold up this one finger, whether that's at a sporting event or something else, I ask you to remember one thing, integrity. It's the foundation of leadership. So when you look at this, think of that. Now, if you can remember that and can track me down sometime in the future, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Congratulations. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of Naval Postgraduate School. I'm Rear Admiral Pete Stamatopoulos, NPS alumni of the class of 1999. I was in your seat 20 years ago, studying supply chain, financial management, acquisition, and economics. 
Today marks a milestone achievement in your career. You succeeded in a demanding curriculum at MPS, honed your critical thinking and problem-solving skills, and will return to the fleet with the confidence to successfully lead the complex challenges of the 21st century. To the 16 Navy Supply Corps officers in this graduating class, Naval forces cannot be effective in combat environment if they are not sustained. And sustainment is made possible by the expertise, creativity, and energy of Supply Corps officers like you. And to the rest of the 2020 class, wherever your career may take you, always remember to do good, do right, and do what is honorable. Hello, this is Lieutenant Commander Adam Atwood from the Royal Australian Navy, and I'd like to give a shout out to Daniel Jager and William Laponza III, uh, a couple of Marines that uh, I've had the pleasure of interacting with for the last 18 months or so. And during the COVID time, uh, Facebook chats have been awesome and their help both um, mentally and in the garage has been fantastic. So thanks very much and have a great one. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Cynthia Irvine, Dr. Dwayne Davis, and Mrs. Cecilia Davis. You guys were instrumental in facilitating our success during COVID, and I wanted you guys to know we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you guys so much. Hello, I'm Major Jason Booth with the U.S. Air Force. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my fiance Kay, my parents, Dan and Kathy, my sisters, Julia and Janelle, and my instructors. I'd like to thank everyone for their support throughout the school year. Additionally, I'd like to wish my classmates and fellow graduates best of luck on their future endeavors following graduation here at MPS. Hi, I'm Ensign Rachel Seberger. I want to give a shout out to my thesis advisor, Dr. Javier Salmeron, for all of his hard work. I also want to acknowledge my second reader, Dr. Gerald Brown and Tom Hawlocks. I also just want to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout my time at NPS. I am Lieutenant Colonel Halidu from Niger Air Force. Uh, I would like uh, first to thank my professor of National Security Affairs Department for their dedication to our success. Uh, I'm especially grateful to my thesis advisor, Dr. Mate and Dr. Halade, my English professor, Marta, uh, my writing coach, Daniel. Uh, I would like also to thank my family, my friends, uh, for their support during my presence here in Monterey. My fellow classmates, I really enjoy being with you and uh, I learn a lot by interacting with you. So thank you for that. I'm Major Tamisha Christensen, and I would like to thank my professors in Defense Analysis and National Security Affairs for being so supportive. I especially want to thank my fellow teammates within Defense Analysis for always being so willing to teach each other and so willing to learn from one another. I'm going to miss our thoughtful discussions. You guys are the absolute best. And to my family, thank you for being so patient and understanding. I love you. Hey, how you doing, MPS? This is Major Eddie Hildebrand. Uh, special thanks goes out to the family for giving me time and space to do all this, to the 682 faculty and staff for helping me and answering all the questions, and finally to Monterey for letting this be a pretty awesome place to wait out COVID-19. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Hi, this is Kevin Smith, Chairman of the Physics Department. It is time for the December 2020 graduation of the Naval Postgraduate School. And we would like to congratulate all of our students graduating this quarter for the great work that you've done and all the awards that you've won as well. So on behalf of all of the physics department, we'd like to say, Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Woo. Well, Keep in touch. Well done. Take care.